In this module, I want to talk about how you can create section breaks, which will allow you to change page orientation throughout a document between landscape and portrait. And it will also allow you to have different headers and different footers per section. So on the screen, I've just got a blank page. Let me get some more pages. What I'm going to do is go to the layout section and then this is the bit that I'm going to use where it says breaks. If I open that up, you've got this option, next page, and then I get a second page. And I'm going to do it again to get a third page, next page. So now if I just come down a bit, zoom down and go to view and change that to multiple page view. So you can see these side by side. If I click at the top in the header, double click, you can see now I've got header section one two and three and at the moment they're all exactly this the same so if i type my name you can see it cascading through all the pages but if i come into the second page the middle page and take this same as previous off so you've got that there look the header and footer tab linked to previous if i take that off that will allow me to change that to my second name which will cascade through to the last page because that is still on same as previous. Now, if I click into that one and take the link off, I will now be able to type my first name there like so. So I've got my first name, my second name, my first name. Now, if I come out of this, if I double click at the bottom there to come out of this. So if I'm in this page, so I'll double click there. So I'm here. If I do control enter to get myself another page, that is still saying my second name, this second page, because I'm not in this section. I'm still in this middle section. If I go onto the first page, double click onto the first page and do control enter, that gives me another page of that section. Now, if I just undo a little bit to get rid of some of these pages, so just undo and again to get rid of that. So we've got, I'm back to square one, just three pages. And get rid of this text so what you can also do is change the page orientation if i go to layout and i'm in the middle section if i go to orientation and change that to landscape it will only affect that section and again if i do control enter to get a hard page break i'll just zoom this down a little bit more you can see how that sits now these pages like that make it a little bit bigger so basically this is how a document would work and if i backspace that off get rid of that so i'm back to square one but i've got my page like so so i will keep creating landscape pages as i enter data through here until i physically click out of this section into the last section and then i'm back onto portrait pages so that's what you would have to do otherwise you keep creating the same layout page now i'm going to put this one back to portrait for a minute so orientation portrait so we're all back to our our was so i want to now talk about the page numbering at the bottom so just um make this a little bit bigger come down to the the footer area if i double click in the footer what i want to do is exactly the same insert page numbers at the bottom so if i go um, bottom of page page number i'll go for this one so it's at the right so i've got one two three across there but i want to change this to so like a prefix of a document to roman numerals so what you've got to do is you've got to basically format the um the page numbering so you go into here and format page numbers and then you can change whatever it is to roman numerals that one click OK so now it's going I this one hasn't changed now if I change this I need to knock the same as previous off so I'll do that I want this to be one so I'll format it go into there just make sure I highlight that properly go back into format numbers I want this to be one two three but I want it to start at one page one so now that does that Coming into the last section, I want this to be like appendix ABC or annex ABC. 
So again, I need to change this, I highlight that, go back into page numbers, format page numbers. This wants to be ABC, capital A, capital B, and I want to start at A, like so. And I need to take that same as previous off as well. Knock that off, so we're all good. So we've got I, one, A. Come out of this. Now, if I get into this section and do a control and enter hard page break, I've got I, and then I, I, and then one, and then A. If I come into this section and do control enter, I should get a B. If I come into th this middle section, I've got one at the minute. If I do control enter, I should get a two. Two. So because you've broken the links, your different footers will react to whichever section you're in. So the key there is you insert section break through layout, breaks, next page. There is other options in there like continuous and stuff like that, which you might have to use if you're using columns. If you need to delete a section, you need to do this. If you go to the View tab, on the View tab, if you select Draft, you can see the section breaks. And then if you delete the section break like that, you are getting rid of the section break. There's a page break there. Now, if I go back to Normal View, Print Preview View, so I've deleted the sections there. That's how you get rid of sections. So after you've deleted the sections, notice that the, the header's all gone to the same and it's gone A, B, C across the bottom, Steve, 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 and then D and E across there. That's because I deleted the sections and that is the first section. My name, my first name and A was the first section. So all the other sections have been deleted. So that's all I want to talk about in this little video. So hopefully that was of use and I'll catch you on the next session.